So please, applaud both Brian and the trailer for Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace! It's kind of hot under there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, uh, I don't know if you remember the time immediately after this trailer came out, but that winter and spring was the last time anyone was genuinely hopeful about Star Wars. <laughs> So hopeful, in fact, I'm going to read you some reviews of the trailer. Ron Wells from Film Threat says, Jar Jar Binks, the all-CGI character, looks pretty cool. <laughs> Moriarty from Ain't It Cool News says, Here's betting that Jar Jar Binks becomes one of the biggest episode one stars. <laughs> oh, he became a star, but, you know, so did Ray J. And... <laughs> um, <laughs> which, uh, which brings me to everyone's favorite. <laughs> I mean, I can understand the character is ethnically ambiguous, but watching Jar Jar Binks was the first time I felt white guilt. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks is blackface to aliens. I've got an idea, George Lucas. Let's invent a Rastafarian, al Rastafarian alien who can't chill. <laughs> And what did George Lucas do with the most hated character in cinema history in episode two? He becomes a politician and gives emergency powers to the chancellor. <laughs> Fuck him! <laughs> uh, episode one also features Watto, the Star Wars equivalent of a Pawn Star, complete with a pot belly and an Italian accent. You know, there's a deleted scene where Watto mentions that he was actually raised uh, Roman Catholic. Yeah. Um, they were gonna, uh, George Lucas was going to put out an enhanced versions of episodes one through three, and the only change to Phantom Menace was that Watto would wear a wife beater, drink out of a flask, and have a tan line on his ring finger. <laughs> Watto was another character that I might have written off as offensive, and then I realized that George Lucas isn't racist, he's just never been outside. <laughs> Uh, Watto is the owner of Anakin Skywalker. When you see the trailer, the kid looks cute enough, but when you watch the movie, you find out... <laughs> we understood that Darth Vader was a child at some point. I don't think he came out of the womb with a helmet on, although you should always go in with one. <laughs> um, hey, 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 um, hey. I'm a Sith. Uh, hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hey, you know what would be great? If we had a child Darth Vader participate in a shitty 15-minute-long race sequence that was still the best part of the movie. <laughs> Guys, the best part of Phantom Menace was Space NASCAR. <laughs> Anakin Skywalker is a redneck. <laughs> the trailer also introduces Mace Windu, whose boring, narrative-heavy dialogue would prove that George Lucas was capable of anything, even making a black Jedi uncool. I would have taken a few motherfuckers, because while it might have broken the canon, it certainly would have broken up the monotony. Lando Calrissian was cool, and I don't understand how he got less cool when they added a purple lightsaber. <laughs> when he was standing over uh, the Emperor in the third one, wasn't there a brief moment where everyone thought maybe he was going to go, there's this passage I got memorized, Ezekiel 25, all right. Uh, did you guys catch a glimpse of Padme's ship? I feel like I've seen that ship somewhere else. Oh, that's right, the cosmos. <laughs> Padme's ship is powered by Neil Degr the imagination of Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> what better move? What? What a better movie Phantom Menace would have been if Anakin cruised around the galaxy with Carl Sagan smoking a joint. <laughs> you are destined to bring balance to the Force. <laughs> what about the midichlorians? No, we're all star stuff. Uh, <laughs> When re-watching Cosmos, I felt so excited watching what's basically an animated textbooks, textbook that I realized... <laughs> uh, C-3PO makes an appearance in The Phantom Menace and he's always remarking on how he's nude. I don't understand why a robot would be self-conscious about that. <laughs> what was George Lucas hinting at? Because if so, the next line makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> Our buddy G. Luke wants to fuck robots. <laughs> uh, the trailer also introduced probably the biggest villain letdown. 
Darth Maul, who's a bad guy because he has a face tattoo. <laughs> and has three lines because he was acted out by a stuntman. <laughs> Every time a guy gets a tribal tattoo, do you think he thinks he'll look more like Darth Maul? <laughs> George Lucas did answer the long-awaited question, though. What would it be like if a Sith were a juggalo? Yoda is one of the only characters who seems to be against training Anakin. It's like he knows what's coming, not just in their world, but in ours. <laughs> if you pay attention to Yoda's mood throughout the film, it matches the audience experience. Weary, cautious, and eventually so mad you could cut some clone troopers' heads off. In the third film, after, the, after Yoda duels Palpatine, he goes, Into exile I must go. Failed, I have. Which was actually lifted from George Lucas's diary. <laughs> Uh, one thing, the only saving graces of Phantom Menace is the stupendous acting of Ewan McGregor. Give it up for Ewan McGregor. Yeah. Acted his fucking pants off to, to a green screen. Um, for nothing. Uh, and I think Anakin is such a shitty actor, I don't think Qui-Gon wanted to teach him to be a Jedi. I think he wanted him to be believable. Uh, guys, I, wanna, I, wanna, uh, I just wanted to rename this trailer. I think it should now, in lieu of how, of how much hope we had for it, I think uh, the, the, trailer, the, the movie should be called Star Wars Episode I, A False Hope. Uh, <laughs> and if you guys would, uh, please rec uh, recite, if you, any, if you know the Code of the Sith, does anyone know the Code of the Sith at all? Okay, well if you know it, like three of you, uh, recite it with me now. Uh, Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Through passion I gain strength, through strength I gain victory. Through victory, I get that pussy! <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. May the force be with you. See you next time.